Welcome to the sixth part of the Keyhole software tutorial on EXTJS single page applications. In this tutorial, we'll go over in more detail how the communication between the edit controller and the grid controller takes place. One of the first questions we get asked after someone's been working in an EXTJS application for some time is how two controllers should communicate with each other. The initial approach that most people take is if controller A needs to communicate with controller B, controller A should have a reference to controller B. But then we start adding a little bit more complexity. What if controller B, which we can say in this case is my edit controller, needs to communicate back with controller A? You've set up a situation where there's reference from A to B and then B to A. So you want to have a minimum amount of references to make it easier to maintain and much easier to read. The pattern that we found best is in that situation where A needs to know about B, B needs to know about A. It's A's responsibility to tell B, hey, do something, but B, when it tries to go back to A, shouldn't have a direct reference to it. Instead, what we can use is our eventing layer. Like I said in the previous tutorial, EXTJS is an eventing framework at its heart. It allows us to communicate between two different pieces of the application without directly knowing about each other. And we can leverage that concept to set up the communication back from this controller to my outer grid controller. If we take a look at the save method of my edit window controller, this is the piece that I'm actually talking about. Every controller has a reference back to the application that it is housed within. And what I can do is fire an event on that application saying, my form controller has been edited, or my form controller has been added, and pass it the values of what the user put on the screen. Values, in this case, is going to be an object that contains this data, this data, and this data. This allows me to listen for this event from my original controller, my grid controller, and really after that point, the grid controller doesn't know anything. It can just stop and delegate control over to this controller. So it still has a reference back to it, but it's sort of abstracted through this application layer. Um, we've tried a bunch of different approaches at Keyhole, and this is really the one that has worked the best for us, having sort of these global event changes that very specific controllers listen for. Another example of this happening is the view closing. Now, there's no data that needs to be passed when the view closes. It just simply closes and it needs to tell the grid controller, hey, you have the application's attention now. You are the thing that is in focus. Do whatever you need to. These two methods are part of the sort of keyhole software philosophy that we went with when we write EXTJS applications. They allow us to separate off the different controllers from each other to where they don't have to necessarily know about each other, but to a programmer reading it, it's very easy to see, oh, you know, this is the event that's getting fired. Where is that event being listened for? And it's easily searchable. You can tell exactly which controller is listening for what event, and it makes the program maintainable. Uh, maintainability is one of the biggest parts of any JavaScript application, and especially in EXTJS, there's a lot that they've done within the framework to allow you to write very maintainable, easy to read, easy to use applications. So in this tutorial, we've gone over really step by step what the different parts are of my single page application. We've talked about what the controllers look like, what the views look like, and then gone into a little bit what the models look like. This should hopefully give you a small guide into how you can write your own EXTJS single page applications. There are parts of the framework that are very opinionated, and there are parts that are very unopinionated. You can set it up in whatever folder structure you like, you can name it whatever you want, but these guiding principles that we've laid forward can help really steer you in the right direction when it comes to writing a maintainable, easy to use, easy to code, EXTJS single page application.